Dad, are you okay? I watch my mom struggle every single day trying to provide for me. We ain't never really had much, but she always found a way to make it work to take care of me. Now, every decision I make is to take care of her. Now it's time to tell you my story. You see, I come from a place where when a person hits 26, they are a walking zombie. And what I mean by that is they are checked out every single day. They are just going through the motions. No hope, no desire. And I can tell you one thing, that ain't gonna be me. Today is a big day. I'm going to college. It's seven in the morning. And these motherfuckers are outside, like they just don't sleep. I waited my whole life. My mom is really taking me to college today. God damn, this shit is nice. Damn, look at all these houses right next to the campus. This is crazy. hooping at USC man Jeremiah had plugged me in at the uh, Rico Hines runs he said that they needed one and then when I got there it was one of them days for me I was in my bag it didn't matter who they put in front of me no one could guard me that day I mean shit I wasn't passing much because I knew I had to make some shape with all the coaches there and right after the runs I had the USC scout come up to me we chopping it up, whatever. Long story short, he found out I was still in high school, not committed. He said, we ain't got no more scholarships, but if you walk on, I can guarantee you a spot. I said, shit. I made sure I register right away. Word? This school expensive as a motherfucker, though. I need to figure out a way to get one of them scholarships, though. That's what's up, bro. Just keep grinding, gang. Keep making us proud. As a walk-on freshman... I never got my hopes up to getting any playing time. We opened up at home against Georgia to start the season. We ended up losing 83 to 91. Next we played Miami and we got spanked. It was embarrassing. Then we go and play our first road game in cold ass Minnesota and we ended up losing. At this point we 0-3. And, and since we got Bronny on our team, regardless of his play, good or bad, the media is always looking for a story. And our next game ain't gonna be any easier. Colorado's 3-0 and ranked 17th in the country. Oh, and Colorado has this guy right here, Jeremiah Booker. This is my high school teammate. And off the gate, this man started cooking. Nobody on our team could guard up against this man right here. Colorado also has this guy right here. He's from Russia. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but just know this man was a straight bucket. 
I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even know they hooped in Russia. I thought they just wrestled bears. I ain't gonna lie, Buddy was strong as shit as well. He ain't even lower his shoulder and my teammate was on the other side of the rim. Then when he came down the lane and did this shit, I'm like, God damn, Buddy need to come sit right next to me on the bench after that shit. Then they had this motherfucker just shooting any shot he wanted. At this point, I'm on the bench in my head like, yo, what the fuck are we doing? This man look like he do taxes for a living and he is cooking us. Then the next thing I hear is, Will, let's go. All I could hear was this. All the way to the scores table. As soon as I get in, I get a steal against Jeremiah. He ended up cutting me off, so I go and do a spin, and I get bouncy. The very next possession, I come down the court against the Russian guy, and I'm just out here doing shit. When I see how much space I created off this snatch, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm shooting this, because ain't no telling when I'm about to get subbed out. The very next possession, I go into a snatch. I should have shot it, but I got a very bad habit of playing with my food. And I can see out the side of my eye, Ronnie with his hands up calling for the ball. Hell no. Get that shit out the net, my boy. I'm out here catching lobs. Shit did not seem real at this moment. Then I come down the lane and catch a body. Hey. And when I said it didn't seem real. After that game, I was placed in a starting lineup, and I went from a two-star recruit to looking like I should have been a five-star recruit, all while averaging 15.3 points per game and five assists. He ended up finishing the season with a 22 and eight record. My boy in town for spring break, and you know we had to pop out tonight. Look, I ain't gonna lie, this club about to pay me 1,500 just to make a little appearance tonight. You know your boy didn't turn that down. I need all the paper I can get. I ain't on no scholarship. Damn, promoter just sent over that bread. That must mean I'm good to go. You should have asked his ass to get you a scat pack or something. Pulling up in your mama car ain't it. Shit, you can hop on that metro bus. How about that? What's up? You trying to go get some food or something? What's up? Bet. Say that. Since you came out with me tonight and you in time, man, I'm finna break a little bit of bread with you. The rest gonna go to my mom's, though. I'm finna pull up to this gas station used to ATM. You ain't got to do that. Damn, fuck they got going on over here. Damn, fuck that. Go to a different gas station. Man, shut your scary ass up. Man, I know all these niggas, man. We finna pull up to this one. Fuck that. You know these niggas got beef with every gang in the neighborhood. We good, we good, we good. Trust, 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 trust. Bet, I'm finna go to the bathroom real quick. I expect a big bonus this year.
First off, I want to say thank God that my cousin is okay. The result of being in the wrong place at the wrong time was really unfortunate when my team needed me on the biggest stage in March. Things do happen for a reason, and now I'm starting to see it through. What I've done this year as a walk-on freshman and the numbers that I put up has been unreal. And I am confident that my time is now. And that's regardless of my injury right now. A place that I once called my home doesn't feel like my home anymore. This decision was hard to make. And the campus being 30 minutes from where I grew up, filled with bad memories, isn't in my best interest anymore. I'm still writing my story. I will be putting my name in the NBA draft. 